And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Another pretty cold start. We've been down to 29 in Lafayette within the last hour, now up to 30. So kind of wavering upper 20s, lower 30s in our southern counties, off to the north and east, 32. Logan Sport 34, Rochester, where we have just a little bit of clouds, but I do want to bring attention to freeze warning for the counties highlighted there in purple. Warren, Tippecanoe, Clinton, Fountain, Montgomery County, just uh, definitely protect those sensitive plants. Obviously, it's uh, we're kind of right in the middle of that now, so can't do much about it, but otherwise just saying it is pretty cold out there. Uh, wind chill temperatures are in the 20s as well, so that's one thing to keep in mind whenever you step outside. It's just quite cold. Be sure to bundle up bundle the kiddos up too whenever you get out to the bus stop. Rochester seeing the clouds right now, but this will work out of the area and we'll be left with very sunny skies the rest of the day. So a pretty nice day sky wise for us. We'll get up to the near 50 degrees by lunchtime near 60 degrees by six o'clock with the west northwest breeze feeling a little chilly at times about uh, five to about 12 miles per hour uh, for this afternoon. So really not a bad day tomorrow. Not a bad day as well. We'll have a mix of clouds and sun. We won't get as cold in the morning and then we'll actually work up into the mid to upper 70s for highs with a mix of clouds and sun. Maybe an isolated rain shower a storm north of the viewing area north of Lafayette. In future cast will show that. Notice the strong southerly wind here Wednesday morning for future cast, and it can't rule out just an isolated stray storm or two across the north. A cold front that's going to be traveling northbound, but we most of the day on Thursday will be clear up until we will have a cold front that will move in Thursday night into Friday very early in the morning hours. So we'll be watching for that, but then more rain starts to work in kind of a showery cold day on Saturday with highs only in the 40s. The Storm Prediction Center already has us underneath a level one risk for strong storms. A strong storm or two damaging winds look like to be the main threat. So some severe gusts could be possible with a couple of these storms late Thursday night into early Friday morning. So we'll keep a tab on that here since we are still three days out from that system working in Thursday night. Friday morning. We will cool down 63 on Friday and then we'll be even cooler on Saturday with showery conditions, windy as well. Uh, one thing to note too, it will get very windy Thursday, Friday and Saturday with the passage of that front, but then we kind of stay below normal with those temperatures as we get toward the middle of next week with temperatures staying in the uh, lower 60s and upper 50s there, Joe. All right, well, not a bad day. Lots of sun, certainly yep. better than yesterday. I know I walked out of the, the studio door there yesterday morning and was just <laughs> blown away because there was yeah. snow flying everywhere. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, 46 miles per hour wind gusts there at the Lafayette. We had some snow, some sleet. Uh, a little bit yeah, of everything. Definitely a wintry day yesterday. Today, yeah. a lot of sunshine, but it's going to be a cold morning when you step outside. Bundle up. Bundle for sure. up. Warm up that car. Oh, yes. All right. Recent